Well, Jason, I know college football as a coach, you know, you can be somewhere one day and one day the next, you know, you're know, going to go against Idaho this week where you coach, where a position coach, interim coach, spent some time, went to school nearby Washington State. It's, I know your, your focus is to win a football game, but is it, is it kind of a little emotional too going you know facing a team a school you were a big part of especially the last few years I, I, I'd be lying if I said it or did it you know because he, anytime you spend time with some place you know they, as close as I get to the players uh, and have a with the players you always wish them the best I don't wish them the best of the guys you know, uh-huh. but um, you always want to see them do well you know and so for, for us for me to sit here and say hey it's not going to be uh, something that I've thought about or, or, or I'm thinking about I would be a lot, you know, so it does, you know, you, you want those guys to succeed, but just not you know, when they play against us, so right. to, to have the connections, like you said, being in the area, um, been around that area for a long time, knowing some guys in that program over there, a lot of the players, a couple of the coaches, a couple of uh, handful of guys in the athletic department, you know, it, it, it's... You're going to be seeing old, fam- old faces, old guys that you know, and mm-hmm. seeing guys before the game, but hopefully we're giving them a handshake after the game, wishing them the best after we beat them. So that's, right. that's, the, that's, the, that's the, like you said, the end factor. Is mm-hmm. what, can you give me some insight of some of the personnel that they have coming back? Uh, you know, the, some guys, I know you're worrying about offense of what you need to do against the defense, but can you give me some insight on some personnel that you know that's there, that you know that uh, you guys will have to be concerned with on Saturday? You know, um, definitely we have to, you know, I, I know Chad Chow, just a starting quarterback, you know, he's a guy that um, when I did take over in every high spot last year, that uh, was thinking about playing those last four games, um, just because of the fact of, you know, starting quarterback at that time, we kicked him off the team, we getting into a lot of trouble, um, and so, and the other guys, we, we needed somebody to play, and, and he was probably the best at that time. Mm-hmm. And um, but I didn't think it would be fair to him. You know, um, he's a very accurate kid, very smart kid. Um, he can make some some really good plays with his feet as well too. So we're definitely gonna have to keep him in the pocket and, and just control him um, because if not, I know he's only a freshman. But uh, um, we we got a kid over here that wears number sixteen that did a pretty good job as a freshman as well too. Mm-hmm. Now I'm not comparing him to him, but right. I'm saying that as a freshman you can still have some good games and um, he's definitely a player that we need to watch out for, mm-hmm. along with, uh, uh, you know, uh, James Baker is one of the running backs I know very well, um, and uh, uh, Najee Lovin is a receiver that, that we should be aware of on the offensive side of the ball. Mm-hmm. On the defensive side of the ball, um, we definitely have to be aware of Solomon Dixon, you know, he plays for, he's probably the best secondary player, um, I see him probably matching up with Rob, um, is what I'm, I'm uh, anticipating, they're not playing like a boundary field corner, right and left corner. Um, they move the guys around a lot, so mm-hmm. I think they're going to try and match him up wherever Rob's uh, wherever Rob's at. Um, uh, Bradley and Joku is a safety um, out of Texas. That uh, he's, he's a junior. He's played all the time there. He started all last year. Um, he's a guy that uh, we're going to need to know where he's at as well, too, because he can make some plays. He'll come mm-hmm. up and make some good hits, and he also makes some plays in the secondary. He had a pick this last week, and I want to say he led a team with some tackles. So he's definitely a guy that uh, we're going to need to know about. And, and then up front, Max Ford, uh, Dean, and Quayshawn Buckley at the D tackle spot. Those are two guys that can wreak some havoc um, uh, through the, the, the offensive line. You know, right. so. Um, decent players that we need to know where they're at um, and uh, be able to control them and run our things, don't have an over-awareness of them, but just understand what they might be doing with those players mm-hmm. because uh, they can't make some plays. It will it be hard for you? I mean, not look, you seem like a very focused and driven guy, but you know, and you got to real. You, you know, this is where you're at now. You got to focus on the task. But is it hard to not to think back and think of you know what could have been or what was? Is that or in this profession, Jason? Can you really even afford to think that way at any no, point in time? I, I really don't think you can. Mm-hmm. I really don't think you can. I, I, you know, I just got off an interview doing something with that with Idaho and they're doing a story on the, the whole situation with myself and being there. Um, and I, I hold I told myself, I hope you don't take this in a, in a disrespectful way or, way or take my words and construe them because um, I'm really, you know, I was thankful for my time there, but have no idea how, how much more grateful I am to be here, you know, mm-hmm. and um, the guys that are here and the program that are here, and the coaches, the staff, um, really grateful and, and, and uh, um, blessed to be at this program at this time. Um, don't ever for one second think that, oh, what could have been, what, whatever, at, at that place, I'm just focus on now, focus on winning now and just thankful to be a part of what we have going here because um, 
I know it's special, and I know it's going to be special, um, uh, not only this season, but the season's upcoming, because um, we got a great group of kids and, and, and a great uh, head coach and a great staff to support that whole, mm-hmm. whole thing, and, and um, I'm excited to be a part of it, can't tell. <laughs> so, sure. um, I mean, it's one of those it's one of those things where I know the big man upstairs, he does everything for a reason. Um, uh, my time there was my time there. I learned a lot being there. I was only there for two years, but I had about 10 years experience all through into those two years. So um, I'm drawing off of that experience to better um, this program here and to better the players here and to give us a chance.